We do have a new solution. Um, it's something we've never tried before, but the idea is, is that it's a paint that supposedly sticks to anything. And that means that we can forego uh, both the sanding and the deglossing process. And the paint is actually the primer, the color, and the finish all in one. So we might be able to paint these cabinets and get in and out with just two coats. You up for trying that? That sounds great. All right, so it starts with cleaning them. So I think we should take all the hardware off, the doors and drawers out, and then clean them up. All right, sounds good. So we wanna make sure that we clean all the face frames, all the doors and drawers, and the manufacturer recommends that we use just a off the shelf biodegradable cleaner, spray it on, wipe it off. All right, everything is cleaned up, so we're ready for the paint, and there it is. Now you asked for gray, and this company calls their gray Pebble. You okay with that color? I love it. All right, now run your fingers over that. You feel that little bit of texture? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we're gonna end up with. You okay with that? Very cool, I love it. All right, so this is the paint for us. Now the story with the paint is that it was originally formulated to paint lines down in asphalt, and you can imagine how much traffic that mm -hmm. gets. So this should stick to anything, including our kitchen cabinets. Now normally, we'd be doing this with a brush. I mean, that would help us because we'd have styles and rails and we'd have a panel in the middle. But in this case, we can use a roller. We've got a couple things working for us. First of all, it's one big flat panel. That's great. Uh, and second, the paint has a, a self-leveling characteristic that should help it lay flat when we're done with the rollers. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get some gloves on and get to work. All right, there you go. All right, Hannah, door fronts and drawer fronts are all done, so we're gonna turn our attention to the face frame. So same process for you, go over with the roller. I'm gonna use the brush, because that's all that's gonna fit in here up by the crown, okay? All right, sounds good. So the doors and drawers are all set up. We gave them at least two hours to dry, and you can see that we've got decent coverage, but they're gonna need a second coat. So let's roll that on. Okay, so everything is dried overnight. We've got all the frames done now. I love the fact that we went all the way and painted the inside because they were kind of dirty, so that freshens it up. Two coats on everything, doors, drawers, frames, even three coats on a couple doors. What do you think so far? I love it. Do you? It looks so good. It is a big improvement. All right. So you said that you didn't like the yellow color of the tile, and since this paint will stick to this, we can cover this up if you want. Yeah, I think that would be a great idea. Could we do white, though? Sure, absolutely. Um, same process. We'll just uh, clean it, tape it off, and then we'll roll on the white. All right, sounds good. Let's get some equipment. All right, it's been two hours and the first coat is dry, so let's put on the second coat. All right. Now is the time to update the hardware. In this case, since you like what you have, all you have to do is clean it, spray paint it, and you've got a brand new look. So it took three coats in some places and you've got a little bit of texture, but overall, what do you think? It's great, I love it. Do you? Awesome, all right. Well, just yesterday you had the natural wood look on the cabinets, yellow backsplash. Now you've got the crisp gray, the white backsplash. This kitchen's definitely gonna last you five more years. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.